All right, some more work on restricted RPI. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Butterscotch. I've added in match information gleaning uh, where players could, um, by watching the stock changes and watching players come out of matches, figuring out how many stars they gained or lost, could figure out what was played in a match without going to the table suit to get a tip. Um, and so I've now automated that process in the client. So if you're just sitting around in the main hall, you'll get sent a message from the match suit, which tells you, you know, what changes there were. It doesn't specifically say what happened because it's not entirely possible to know what, what happened in a match without getting the full information. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I fixed a bug where um, some of the messages have two logging IDs, so when you uh, click, it goes to two different profiles. It would produce duplicate notes if you went to like one profile and deleted the note, which made it so that you could re-log the notes again. It would end up creating a whole bunch of duplicate notes in the other ID, the other profile. I also fixed a bug where the message logging would use the time that the message were logged instead of the times which they were received, which created really poor notes ordering and potentially applied old information to new players, like if a player finished the game and then came back in. Um, I've changed the avatar's mustaches to be connected to the, the mouth instead of the nose, how they were previously anchored to fix some ugly positioning problems that happened with certain poses. And, and I fixed a bug where the avatars who had pompadours in certain poses, their nose would end up on top of the pompadour because of layering problems. Um, I added a, a um, animation over the UI of the players, their stars and the, the player's avatar where uh, chains come out and enclose stars in the player to better emphasize uh, that you've been enslaved or freed. And I've changed trading so that you can no longer attempt to trade all of your stars since there's no situation where that's a legal thing to do. I've changed the wording on, on it, trading exchanges to do with slavery so that they're easier to read, such as using the term freedom. If you've like traded, if you've been traded yourself, that would be getting your freedom. So it no longer says your name multiple times in the message. I fixed a, a problem where the, the changes that need to be made when when you're enslaved or freed, changes to profiles and buttons in the main hall, they wouldn't happen immediately before you'd have to like have a new turn before they would show up. So now everything changes immediately. And I uh, fixed a bug where the, the card lock-in button, when you're in a match and you're locking in your card, it would um, activate the, the button prematurely if you clicked it multiple times or clicked one and then changed to another one because I wasn't stopping the animation. <laughs> I was just making it invisible. And it would, when it reached the end of the animation, it would turn on the button. And by the time this video is out, the, this one will actually be out. The next client version and server version will be up on Steam and, and Itch.io, and I'm going to see if I can't keep a server online for people who want to try it out. <sighs> no more butterscotch.